Hey guys, my name is Keely Stevenson. Um, I'm 24 years of age, going to be 25 this year. I'm a policy, um, I'm an ambassador for the Policy Forum at Drive Forward. I also work in an organisation called My Bank, where I help and support care leavers live a life of independency very successfully as well. How I found about Drive Forward was um, through my local authority, which was Lambeth. So um, I was one day at my What Happens Next group um, where Heaven, my employment consultant, came in and she introduced herself, introduced the work that she did um, and how she successfully finds care leavers employment. Um, and yeah, from that moment on, I was very interested. So the day that I graduated from university, I actually contacted her um, to help, to ask her um, to see if she can assist me find employment. Um, and she did. Um, it was a very difficult process to find employment at the start because I was very particular about what I wanted to achieve and accomplish but we managed to get there in the end and I'm, I'm very happy at where I am now. Thank you heaven. <laughs> so the policy forum was actually first discovered when I produced a book called The Foster Carer's Guide from a Young Person's Perspective. Um, I phoned Heaven and I told her about the wonderful news of me producing this book and I asked her if there's any you know, ways that I could possibly get involved with the organisation a bit further. And that was when I was actually introduced to Rory, um, who is the political engagement officer at Drive Forward that actually helps with the policy forum. Um, and yeah, so from that day, I've just been um, involved, you know, helping um, young people get their voice heard, me being a voice as well. And yeah, just putting my points forward to make, you know, the bigger picture with, um, many other young people as well so i'm really happy about that so today we had a phenomenal meeting with nadhim zahawi and his officials um, in regards to care leavers getting free travel it was a really productive meeting myself rory and jordan really put our points across and i you know i gave him a deep synopsis of my story and how you know not having that financial support really affected me um, during my time of starting employment financial support can really make or break you um, when entering into the realm of employment the reason why it can break you is because you, you don't always have those funds that actually um, allow you to go to work like that that would literally be it had I not had the finances to actually go to work and actually get travel I wouldn't be able to make it you know my workplace is actually between zones one to four so my travel is actually costing me 200 pounds per month so not having access directly access to those funds means that I would actually have to stay home maybe calling sick and that just wouldn't look good on my records especially as a new employee you know that was something that was really playing on my emotional and mental health but luckily drive forward was the ones that stepped in and actually helped me with that financial support on on a two times basis and I was able to fund my one month travel once and it, another time again which I was really happy about because had I not had that support I, I may have not been um, in employment now um, so currently as echoed before, I work at my bank, helping care leavers and equipping them with the life tools and um, independency to just move on and live in their own house successfully. Um, my career, where I'd like to take it, is to have a huge rehabilitation home where I can accept a cohort of young people um, on a monthly basis to just come in, get the help that they need, and um, whether that's physically, financially, mentally, emotionally, and just go home, you know, with, with the know-how of how to access life and really, um, you know, really go through life um, with confidence and with zeal and with trust in whatever they want to accomplish.